here's a thought to consider. Your life is working perfectly as it's supposed to be. So what if you don't love your life? What if you don't love your business? How could it be working perfectly? Well, everything that happens in your life or your business has a system behind it. There is cause and effect in this universe. That's how it works. So if you're not liking the effects, then maybe you can change the causes. There are many causes that are outside of our control. There's karma, at least in this lifetime. There's karma, there's the stars, there's other people, there's society, there's the economy, there's technology that changes, there's random things that seem to happen to your health or you know, your family or, or whatever it may be. But every time you say, well, I, can't, I couldn't do this because of those people, because of the karma, because of society, because of technology, I couldn't do it because of that. That's it. And that's, that's why you couldn't do it. You've just given your power away. Do you want to give your power away? Well, George, I don't have that much power. Okay, you've just given your power away by saying that, by believing that you've given your power away. But I want to encourage you to instead take on this idea that you have more control of your actual life experience than you previously thought. You are more in control of your life than you can imagine. And every time you say, well, I couldn't because of that, and that that is not you, whatever you're blaming is not your own actions, then you've just given up your power. Now, as the saying goes, as Spider-Man said, with power comes responsibility. So that also means whatever you couldn't do, if you realize that, oh, it was in my power to do, that it was in your responsibility to do. Now, what I'm not saying is for you to blame and be negative about yourself. That is the misstep, the mistake that most people make when they, you know, they, they blame so that they don't have to feel bad about themselves. They can, they can put negativity onto other people, onto society, onto their history, onto their genetics, onto their upbringing, onto their tribe, onto their karma, stars. Okay. But if you turn it around and say, maybe I can do something different about this, I want you to turn that around and make it an empowering statement and say, now I know there is no blame because the past I cannot change. And maybe that's something you need to realize. The past you cannot change as far as we know, okay? What you can do is what you can do right now that will affect your future. So if you take it from that point of view and say, if I fail again, if, it's, if, I, if I fail and then it was my power, I refuse to blame myself. I will simply say, what did I learn about the system of what I did? So let me actually ground this in some examples, okay? Let's say that you continually can't follow your schedule. You, you try to follow a schedule, but you can't follow it. There's a system behind it. I'm using this as an example because it is something that is more easily thought to be in your control. I really believe more things are in control than you imagine, like I said, but let's use your schedule as an example. You can't follow your schedule and then you analyze what is the system behind it. Well, I wake up so late that by the time I wake up, I'm already late in my schedule to, to work at, you know, to work on my business or whatever, okay? So then let's work backwards and say, well, what's the system behind you waking up so late? Well, I wake up late because I sleep late because I need a certain hour, number of hours of sleep to be able to feel okay waking up. That makes sense. So that's the system behind it. Okay, all right. It's all systems. See, there's no blame here. It's just, it's just systems. There's no, 
you're a bad person. No, no, it's, you're not a bad person. You're a great person. It's just, you have bad systems. So let's work on the systems. Okay. So, all right, you, you sleep late, which causes you to wake up late, which causes you to miss following your schedule. You feel bad about things, you know? So then why do you sleep late? Well, you sleep late because you start your evening routine late. Okay, so that's the system behind it. Ah, okay, my evening routine. I know if I start to wind down at you know, 11 p.m., it takes me hours to before I, I can fall asleep. Okay, well, maybe we need to look at your evening routine and making that system better. But let's just say your evening routine is fine. I'm gonna assume that for now, okay? And you just start your evening routine later than you would like. Well, there's the system behind it is that you don't start your evening routine early enough. Great. So now we understand that we need to plan an earlier evening routine. Great. Once you plan an early evening routine and you understand how it's going to work and what time you're going to start, then if you start the evening routine on time, you will sleep on time and you will wake up on time. That's the system behind it. That's in your control. Now you might say, well, George, I don't set my eating routine on time because my family, you know, or my spouse, or let's just use that as an example for now. Oh, well, what's the system behind your family or your spouse causing you to start eating routine late? And what can you do to redesign the system differently? Because is somebody, is your family or spouse locking you in a room and says, you are not allowed out until we say you're allowed out for your evening routine. No, nobody's locking you in a room. Why couldn't you tell your family or, or your spouse, I am going to start my evening routine now. I, from now on, I'm going to start my evening routine at 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. or whatever it may be. It's in your control. You have more control than you realize. And once you make that decision that I am more in control of my life than I realize, what tends to happen is other people will work around you. Other, let other people work around you. Do less of working around other people. Now, and unless it's part of a system you want to work around other people, and that's great. That's, that's, very, that's very good too. You need to compromise sometimes. That's part of a system, right? But in this case, sleeping is so important that I hope for the system you are designing it very carefully so that, and again, a system is good when there's some buffer. So don't say like, oh, I have to go to sleep exactly at eight, or I have to start exactly 8 p.m. Otherwise everything is lost and my next day is lost. And that's not a good system either. So you need to design a bit of a buffer to say, well, I'm gonna start my thing at 8 p.m. If I start my evening routine at 8 p.m., then I could even get nine hours of sleep, even though I only need eight. Then I have an extra hour in the morning to, you know, to to ease into the, the day or whatever it may be, okay? So let's say, all right, let's say that you've designed an evening routine now, you're gonna start at, you know, let's say 9 p.m. and then you're gonna be able to wake up in a, a good enough time to start your day feeling good. Then you'll be able to follow your schedule, right? May, let's say the reason why you don't start your evening routine is because you get so caught up watching TV or doing whatever else you were doing on the computer and you're just like, oh my God, it's 10 p.m.? What, where did the time go? Okay, so then the system behind it is that you don't have a reminder, <laughs> okay? You see what I mean? You don't have a reminder to let you start your evening routine on time, so you need to set a reminder, okay? You set a reminder and it turns out that you don't follow your reminder because you're so engrossed in whatever you're doing or whatever the, the TV show is, whatever maybe you're doing that, okay? So the system behind it goes like this. The reminder goes off, you ignore it, and you keep doing whatever you were doing. And then later on, you feel guilty or you blame yourself or whatever. So that's a system. That's a system behind it, okay? So then let's redesign the system. So instead of you, the alarm going off and you ignoring it, what you need to do to figure out is how can the alarm go off and I pay attention to it? So let's figure out a system behind this. What is the system? The system is that there's some kind of muscle memory you can build in so that the alarm goes off and you stand up 
and you make some movement so that you've gotten out of your trance because it's about a trance. You're at the trance at the computer. You're at a trance right now watching this video. Okay, we're in trances all day long. And the question is, if you want to live consciously, you need to be able to break yourself out of a trance at your own will. You need to use your will to break out of a trance so you can move and do other things. Okay, so you need to practice breaking out of a trance using the alarm as a trigger. So that's a system to practice. All you need to do is practice three times and five times or five times. And already you've built in some muscle memory so that by the next time, and simple time way to practice is set an alarm for three minutes or five minutes, go and do something super engrossing that you would be doing at night You know when, when you ignore the alarm, do the engrossing thing. And when the alarm goes off, you're saying, okay, when the alarm goes off, I will get up from this chair and move my body and go do something else. So I'm now conscious of what I wanna do next. All right, so you practice that three to five times in a row and immediately you'll have more muscle memory the next time your alarm goes off at night to start your evening routine. So it's very, it's, it, can be, it can be very simple. Now, sometimes you need to research a system to say, I can't figure this out. I have this thing in my hat's happening in my life that I don't like, and I'm gonna believe that I have some control over it, but I can't figure out what the system is behind it. Now, if you haven't even tried, this is usually mostly the problem. You haven't even tried to figure out what the system is behind it. So, so let me ask you this question now. What is not working as well as you would like? And what would you like to work a lot better in your life? What would you like to work a lot better in your life or in your business or in your health or in your relationships? Write, things, write these down, write this as a list down. And then for each item that, is, that you would like to work better, start writing out what the system behind it might be, just like I've walked you through the system in this video. Got it? Give it a try. Write it down. Okay, what is the system behind it? Let me journal. Let me just brainstorm. Let me just try to figure it out. Let me just brainstorm. I'm going to have to sleep on it and then come back next day and try to brainstorm. What is the system behind it? Okay. Now, if you have a friend or, or a coach or uh, a mentor who you can talk to about a system that is baffling you, talk to them about it because chances are they can give you some ideas to help you figure out the system and to help you design a better system. A good coach or a therapist or a mentor helps you to design a system and helps you to stick with it or find ways to stick with it, okay? So, or you could do some online research. The problem with online research is you can go down a rabbit hole and, and spend too long researching, but so it's better just to talk to somebody if you can, but you know, maybe it's, Here's a system for online research that won't spend time, won't spend too much time as you set an alarm for 30 minutes. You might need to, again, practice the muscle memory of getting up when an alarm rings, right? That's very important as a system. But you could set an alarm for 15 minutes or 30 minutes. I'm, I'm only going to research for this much time. And whatever I get in that time is enough. That's the system. Whatever I get enough time is enough for me to take the next steps to build a better system. You don't have to build the perfect system. That's the other thing. You have to build a perfect system. You just have to build a better system and use it and see what you can then improve after that. Step by step, you can literally transform your life in every single way by using a systems way of thinking. So that's what I invite you to do. That's what I have done in my life over the past five, to, particularly over the past five years. But really, ever since I started my business, I became more conscious of the systems in my life because business itself is a system. And so I started to think about my life as a system. And particularly in the past five years, I have greatly transformed my life. Whereas um, even five years ago, I had a lot of uncertainty about my business, about my life. And, and now I, I go as far as to say my life is like heaven. My life feels like heaven now. I feel like I've built heaven on earth for myself. And I know heaven's going to be even better, but you can build heaven on earth for yourself. I had a lot of turmoil in my life. 10 years ago, I was in a lot of turmoil, you know, um, relationship, health, my sleep, my business, my career was in, was in, you know, turmoil. And then again, five years ago, I built the 
a wrong system in my business for the first five years of my business. So I tore down the system and restarted my business five years ago with a much more authentic system. And now my life feels like heaven. My business feels like heaven. So um, I wish that for you as well. You can absolutely build a life, a career, a relationship, health. My relationship now is also wonderful. My health is much better. I don't have the dental issues I used to have. I don't have the sleep issues I used to have, or at least much less so. Um, and I just, I feel healthy much, much of the time and relationship is good. I'm happy about it. I'm happy about my business, happy about my, my spiritual path. It just, it's, everything is great. And not like I don't ex experience problems, but I also have a system for reframing problems so that I see the blessing in the problem. And so my feeling, that's my feeling throughout my entire day is 99% positive. And so that's why I say like my, my life feels like heaven. So I wish that for you too. And it's basically working with every single system in your life until it's heaven, until it's like it's so good and it's totally possible. And that's what you've been given this brain. You've been given this heart. You've been given this body to do is to consciously design the systems in your life so that you can create whatever life you want to create. You're here on this earth to play. And I hope the life you want to create, and obviously it's going to involve your, your values, what you prioritize, what you believe is important to, to contribute to the world. All that's in, included. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. And um, if you have any questions or comments, I, I very much welcome them. What do you think about this? If you have any questions about uh, trying to design a better system in some way, I would love to for you to comment below and uh, let me know what your thoughts are as well. And I'm taking a look right now at seeing if anybody here has any comments um, here. And I am seeing uh, Dorota's comment. Thank you. Uh, Dorota says, I'm res resonating with the systemic thinking about life and business. Absolutely. And thank you also for joining me, uh, Frau K and Captain and Nathaniel, uh, Peter, Carissa, Judith, Ross, Kendra, and Tracy. So thank you all for, for joining me live here. And I look forward to any comments you want to make about what, what, what this is, what this is um, waking within you and what systems you might want to redesign and uh and 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 then maybe a couple months from now you can come back to this video and let me know how it went or just email me and let me know how it went okay i wish you well and until the next video may you may you come to the empowerment of knowing that you are in more control of your life than you previously thought and that there is absolutely no need for any blame self-blame or other blame there's no need for any blame in any direction. And all you need to do, all you know, is that you have an opportunity every day to tweak the systems in your life so that they get better and better and better. All right, I wish you well.